Howdy, and welcome back to another episode of Bare Bow Basics. In previous segments, we started to talk about equipment selection and the choices you can make. But for this segment, I'm gonna to detour to a slightly different topic of form. Form matters because it can influence some of your equipment choices. You need to have a decent understanding of form in order to take a proper draw length measurement. So we're gonna take advantage and go over to a local karate dojo slash dance studio and use some of their facilities to do a deeper dive into the understanding of basic form. Throughout your archery journey, you're going to hear the word form used an awful lot. Whether it's phrases like, her form looks great, or his form is very unique, or I need to work on my form. Understanding the concept and the context of how this word applies to archery is critical to your improvement. Now, if we look in the Oxford Dictionary, there's a myriad of definitions for the word form, and understanding how they apply to bare bow can be a little bit difficult. But if we step back and think about the foundation of the concept, the basis is that the human body has to move in every activity that it participates in. And those movements and positions dictate how well you will perform that activity. So improving one's form really is the basis of refining the technique of how you shoot the bow by where you put your body parts. So let's talk about how we improve that process. In order to discuss form, we also have to talk about alignment. This overhead diagram, and many others like it, have been floating around on the internet for a long time, and for good reason. They help describe the ideal placement of the archer's bow side arm and draw side arm for maximum mechanical advantage when anchored at full draw. In bare bow, this mechanical advantage is especially useful due to the fact that unlike in recurve, Darbo anchors to the side of the face, which increases the width of the triangle. The mechanical advantage gives the archer the best chance at smooth, stable aiming and cleaner, more consistent releases on the shooting line. So what better way to discuss form improvement than to critique my own? While my fundamentals are probably solid, I'm sure the past month and a half away from the bow due to fishing vacations, family vacations, and general work-life balance have surely impacted my ability to come to alignment at full draw in a clean and consistent way. So let's take a look. We can see my stance and posture looks good. My head is erect and directly over my spine. As I begin the shot cycle, my arms come up in unison. I draw to anchor and try to hit alignment. If we analyze this, we can see that the shoulder to bow side alignment is pretty good. However, we see a flaw on the draw side alignment. It's aimed a bit low. It should really be more aimed at this spot here. So that's the first flaw we definitely find in my form that needs correction. Let's continue on from the other side. From the back, things start out looking pretty good. The head is erect over the spine. And as we begin the draw cycle, both arms come up in unison. We draw to anchor and begin the aiming process. This alignment, again, looks pretty decent the shoulder to shoulder to bow side is good. We have the same flaw on the draw side that needs to be corrected to an angle more like this. This change will affect my tune, so it would mean retuning the bow based on the new form position. Last, we look at the overhead angle. This perspective is the most telling as it indicates whether you truly hit alignment or not. Let's watch as I run through the shot cycle. Both arms come up in unison, which is good, but I have a tiny bit of head movement. 
As I begin aiming, we can see my alignment is not ideal. My shoulder to shoulder to bow side wrist alignment needs work. This should be a straight line. Additionally, the draw side elbow has over rotated. It is no longer behind the arrow. This also should be a straight line. These are two very common things we see in most archers as they learn to hit alignment. And I've fallen prey to them due to lack of practice and muscle atrophy. This is something that we all need to work on. With a basic understanding of the elements that contribute to beneficial form, the next question is generally, how do we get there? And the simple answer is a training tool. This is just a piece of TheraBand tied into a loop. And honestly, any light or moderate tensioned elastic cord would work just the same. This training tool allows the archer to practice their draw cycle and their form with alignment without the burden of the additional draw weight of their competitive barebow setup. As we're making those minor tweaks to our form, those muscles haven't really developed yet. So it's a lot easier to make those body position adjustments when you're not fighting the draw weight of the bow. Now, this is where a coach normally steps in because a coach will help give you that third person perspective to make those adjustments in your body part so that you know they're in the right place. The problem is not everybody has access to a good bare bow coach. So what I'm going to teach you is to leverage a mirror in order to train yourself to find a more ideal form alignment. The exercise begins by using the loop as if it's your bow. Set the loop into your bow side grip and make your hook with your draw side hand. Step to the line and draw into the mirror, aiming at an imaginary target behind your dominant eye. You're looking to achieve the alignment based on that overhead diagram. You want both shoulders and the bow side wrist to form a straight line. Similarly, you want the arrow, the draw side wrist, and the draw side elbow to form a straight line. Now, there's two key points that I teach to look for in the mirror and make adjustments accordingly. The first is the draw side scapula. That's this point on your shoulder blade. When you're at anchor, you should see just the very tip of it from your dominant eye. If you see too much, you're overexpanded. And if you don't see enough, which is very common, you haven't fully expanded. You want just the tip of that scapula visible from your dominant eye in the mirror. The second is your draw side elbow. You should see just the edge of your forearm muscles when you're at anchor. If you can see your entire forearm or elbow, you're not fully expanded. Similarly, if you don't see any of it, you're overexpanded. Correct alignment shows just the tip of the scapula and just the tip of the forearm. Ideally, this is what you should see when looking in the mirror. At anchor, we have just a hint of the forearm. Not too much, not completely gone, just a bit. Same with the scapula. Not too much, not completely gone, just a bit. With this exercise, you now have the tool set necessary to work on your form at home independent of a coach. I generally recommend beginners and any intermediates struggling with improving their form to use this exercise for at least 15 minutes a day for a couple weeks straight. This will help improve the strength of any secondary muscles and teach your body how to put all of the parts into position as a habit so that it's second nature when you draw your competitive barebow setup on the shooting line at an event. Within a few days of practicing the exercise, you'll get to a point where you can approximate your personal draw length pretty accurately with the aid of a friend and a tape measure. 
That personal draw length will then be used in the careful selection of limbs and arrows throughout your archery journey. Now, it's important to stress again that the aspects of form that we've discussed in this segment are really ideals. They're things that we should always be striving for. I'm completely aware of the reality that there are archers with physical mobility limitations that prevent the expansion, rotation, or positioning of certain body parts at full draw. There are other archers who, through years of habit, deliberately place themselves out of alignment when they're at full draw. Whether it's a limitation or a habit, I'll never deny that that archer can become proficient. It just takes a significantly longer amount of time. As a beginner, your goal is to become proficient as quickly as possible. So as top archers always recommend, it's best to get into alignment as soon as possible. This will provide the quickest path to proficiency and consistency. As always, I wanna thank you for watching and I look forward to sharing more information with you in our next segment.